Hi everybody, it's me, Monica P. Hall, aka Conduit of Healing. I know, it's been a while since I've done a video blog, but I don't know, have you been around for like the last almost six months? It's been pretty intense. So much going on in the world. Um, I have been spending a lot of time contemplating, um transforming, uh, shifting, going through so much. Uh, but there's been a lot of abundance. Um, I have been uh, quite busy in terms of uh, Conduit of Healing, doing readings, new clients, um, doing Reiki healing sessions, also doing a lot more work uh, on the radio, internet uh, radio shows. Um, yeah, that's been really, really cool because I get to meet you guys uh, via the telephone and do readings for you. Um, I've been doing uh, a monthly reading on Journey into the Light on Blog Talk Radio. I am going to be a guest on um, a radio show on The Awakening Zone and another show on Blog Talk Radio called uh, Cultural Freedom. So it's been really, really awesome uh, to be invited to speak with you guys in that manner. But what I really want to talk about is what's been kind of like percolating in my mind lately. And that's really the concept of masterhood. And when I say that, I mean mastering of yourself. And um, I'm going through this right along with other people who are kind of in this space where they feel like, man, I just, I can't freaking read one more self-help book. I can't read one more spiritual book. I can't go to another workshop. I just, I, I dude, I just can't do it. It, 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 just the idea kind of just, it frustrates me, you know, and this is actually a good thing, you know, um, to do no disrespect for, for, to all the energy healers and teachers and, um, new energy teachers out there, I think what you're doing is lovely and great. I'm talking about all of you souls out there who know that you're in the midst of your masterhood and you're trying to hide out in class or you're trying to hide out with, you know, one more attunement, one more this, one more class, one more workshop. It's time to go, people. I know it is. Um, I've been feeling this so intensely for the last few months and so much so that I've been having some very interesting experiences with my spirit guides. For example, they kind of don't talk to me very much anymore. It was really shocking at first. I, I, I think, you know, I wasn't sure of what the heck was going on because I'm used to, you know, hearing them and it went on for like three days before I was like, what is going on? Where are you guys? And it wasn't like anybody had left. I absolutely still feel them. It was that they weren't telling me what to do. They didn't feel the need to guide me so much. Um, and that's when I realized, oh crap, I think I actually I got the hang of this now. I know what I'm doing. And, you know, that's an, an experience in itself because, you know, we get so used to, to allowing ourselves to be led a lot um, when you're pursuing your own spirituality that we tend to forget that the whole point of this is to actually be your own master. My cat keeps trying to crawl, crawl into my lap. Hello, Zella. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hi. Come here. My cat, Zella. Mm. Um, anyway. Uh, like I was saying, we um, tend to forget that the whole purpose of this is to master ourselves, to have the life that we want, to be the cognizant and conscious creators of the lives that we want, and to be um, the people that we want to be. I think we spend so much time, you know, preparing, 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 that we don't even know when it's time to actually do the damn thing you know what I mean so that's what's going on with me right now um, I've actually Zell it has to go I actually um, have been really embracing this new experience where I am becoming um, 
shout out to Crimson Circle because I'm going to use the word sovereign, um, being. And in being a sovereign being, it means that even though you're surrounded by your crew all the time, they know that you're at a level of development. You have a vibrational energy. You have a frequency that says, yeah, Monica doesn't require input as much. Um, if we think that she's going off you know, to the side of the road into a ditch, we'll say something. But right now, she's got it. She's done so much work. And you know what I'm talking about. You've done so much work that really, it really is about living what you've learned. Um, it's, it's about doing it all the time, every day, you know, forever, and continuing to develop. So that's really what's going on with me right now. And the cool thing about that is um, that I really do feel all these blessings that have come to me, all these opportunities to continue um, my passion of serving you, um, telling you what I know, what I've learned, what I've experienced, um, so that it might help you with your own development. Um, it's just been so awesome. It's been so cool. It's been such a joy. Uh, I went away for the weekend because it was Memorial Day weekend. And I had someone ask me, you know, what do you feel when you're doing a reading? What do you feel? Now, first of all, I could tell you. But me telling you isn't going to do much for you. You can try to imagine what it's like to be a psychic to, to, or an empath picking up somebody else's feelings or being able to, to discern things with your mind's eye or being able to feel energy off of other people. But honestly, until you open up your own ability to be intuitive, and yes, I do believe everyone has that ability, I'm just going to give you some words. So what is it like when I'm doing a psychic reading for someone and I'm really tuned in? Um, it's really a kind of high. My vibrational energy is at such a high level and state that I'm no longer really aware of my body or being embodied, being physical. I'm I'm so in tune with the energy that I really feel like the energy and I are one. So I imagine that maybe that's what a tiny speck on the sun feels like. Just just bright, just you know, powerful, just radiant. That's how I feel when I'm giving a, a psychic reading. That's that's how I feel. Um and I feel like when I hear my voice giving readings that I just feel that I sound very clear, um, very bright. So that's what it feels like. I, I don't know if that's going to help out a lot, but everything about being in service um, as a psychic, as a Reiki master teacher, I love. I, I'm very passionate about. Um, it's actually even better than the high I get from performing live as an actor. It's everything. It really is everything. So that's what's really been going on with me. I am exploring this new chapter in my life where I really am not only do I know I'm in the driver's seat, I'm driving and I'm not thinking about it. I'm just going with it. And it's really, really lovely. Um, I don't plan to go to any workshops or anything soon. I won't say that um, I'll never do it again, but I'm not going to do it just for the sake of doing it. I have to be led. I have to feel drawn to do such a thing because that's how I've always done it. And now, you know, that feeling's not there anymore. What I'm really into right now is being Monica, being the best, brightest, biggest, wonderful me that I possibly can be. And, you know, that really is what we were all trying to get to anyway. So once you get there, there's so much to do. There's so much to be. There's so much to explore and discover and create. So... You know, be about that. If it's really time for you to be Master Whomever, Master Tammy, Master Heather, Master David, um, Master Donna, 
and yeah I am naming people and they know who they are if it's time then you absolutely go for it enjoy it so that's it that's all I got for you um, you can reach me if you want to get a psychic reading at www.conduitofhealing.com. You can call me on the telephone and get a reading at 718-366-0036. Also, um, be sure to check out the events page on my website so you can see uh, where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing. I have an expo coming up in August. So for those of you who are in the tri-state area and you feel like coming out to Jersey to get a reading with me, come hang out, uh, ask me some questions, um, get a 10 to 15 minute Reiki session in, I would love to see you. Okay? And that's it. Mwah! I am having a great time being me, even when it doesn't look like it. In case, you know, you see me and I look kind of frustrated, I'm just working through something. That's what frustration is. We're just bringing up things that need to be worked through and they're looking to be healed. So don't run away from it. Run into it. Okay? That's it. Namaste. And I'll talk to you soon.